Hey, Matt Lights here, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you the number one secret to getting more results with your ads. If you struggled to get any kind of traction, I can guarantee you, you're gonna get more results when you implement this secret. In fact, I'm not just gonna teach you one secret, I'm gonna teach you two secrets. They're gonna work together. You gotta watch this video to the end to make sure that every ad you run gets a lot more results. And I know this because at this point, I've spent millions of dollars on Facebook ads and made millions of dollars more. So let's jump right into this thing. All right, so the very first thing I wanna show you here, this is a random ad that we're looking at, okay? This is an ad that we ran recently that's doing very well, it's making a lot of money. And if you look at it, first thing you notice is that this is a pretty ugly ad. So know that you don't have to have these whiz bang fancy ads to have success. The next thing that I'm guessing you probably already noticed is when you look here, we've got 2,300 likes, 96 comments, and 112 shares. Okay, most ads that you see on Facebook don't have near that much action, and because of that, you scroll right by them. Let me give an example. Here's an example of the same ad that's got no likes, no comments, no shares. Are you gonna pay attention to that? No way, and when you're advertising on Facebook, every ad that you show that doesn't get clicked is means you're wasting your money. So how do we fix that? Well, there's a couple things that we're gonna do. We're gonna jump on over, this is one of our ad accounts, and I'm gonna show you how you fix this. So the very first step, every single time you have a new ad, what I want you to do is I want you, first of all, to think of that ad, it's gonna be an ad creative, meaning it's gonna be a video or it's going to be an image. So I want you to think about that ad creative as an ad, okay? Now, where this gets a little confusing is that sometimes people will do split tests and they'll run lots of versions of ads. I'm here to tell you that I don't believe in that and I'll show you exactly why here in just a second. So. Every single time, this is the very first tip that I need you to write down and implement. Every time you run a new ad, always start it as an engagement campaign. So I'm gonna click on create here and create a new campaign. Now most of the time, when you run ads, you're gonna run them as conversion campaigns. So let's just pretend you made a new video and you wanna run that video to make sales to your page. Well, yes, you're gonna run engagement campaigns, but at first, you're gonna start the ad off by running it as an engagement ad, okay? So we'll run it as a conversion ad later, and I'll tell you how we do that, but start it as an engagement ad. What does that mean? What that means is Facebook's gonna go out and they're gonna get people to engage. Most likely, those engagements are gonna come in the form of likes. Sometimes they share, but not very often, okay? So what this is gonna do, you're gonna spend maybe $5 maybe $10, not a lot of money, but just choose engagement and then we're not gonna spend a lot of time worrying about the ad setup. You know, for right now, let's just kind of scroll through this. If you wanna learn how to set up an ad, you can watch plenty of videos out there. Um, but for now, we're just gonna kind of go through, this is the ad set, this is where we're gonna do our targeting. Okay, and then we come to, this is the step where we actually set up our ad. Okay, so when we do this, you know, the first time you, what you're gonna do is you're always going to click on create post, okay? When you click on create post, then you're going to use some sort of, you know, whether it is a video or uh, a, a image or whatever kind of creative you wanna use, okay? If you look right here, you see where this says use existing post? So by default, it's gonna be set like this, okay? But when you click on this drop down and you choose use existing post, what that's gonna allow you to do is to use an ad that's already been set up. So the first time you set up your ad and you set it up as an engagement campaign, you're gonna to wanna to create a new ad, okay? Follow the standard procedure, set it up, spend $5 or $10. Now, you've ran your ad, the result of that ad is probably gonna be, you got you know 30 likes, 40 likes, something like that. But the important thing is now your ad, it no longer looks like this, right? Now it's gonna look a little bit more like this. And what that's gonna mean is more people are going to engage with your ad because they're gonna take it a little bit more serious. So for example, this ad started with that same exact strategy. And just you know, to be upfront with you, you're most likely only gonna get likes when you, when you do an engagement campaign. So don't expect that you're gonna get 96 comments and 112 shares. 
But if you start with zero and everybody who's seeing your ad sees nothing, then you're gonna get no comments, you're gonna get no shares and your ad's gonna lose a whole bunch of money, okay? So what you wanna do is you start out, you just get however many shares, all right? Don't buy a ton, cause then it, it's not, you know, it's just not gonna look natural. But when you get those engagements, then you go back, okay? And you actually go back to your ad manager and I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out here and you just do the same thing you create a new campaign, but this time what you do, all right, let's create a new campaign. This time what you do is you set it up as a conversion campaign, okay? Remember what I told you earlier. You, you need to think about your ads in terms of the creatives, okay? And I say that because you, you one creative can be ran on as many campaigns as you want. So the, the creative that you used as an engagement campaign we're now gonna use that same exact ad creative as a conversion campaign. So just to kind of show you how this works, again, we're gonna just sort of skip through all these steps. All right, this is the ad set. This is where you do your targeting. You're gonna skip through this. Okay, now when we get here where it says ad setup, whereas before we hit create ad because we're creating a new ad, now what you wanna do is you wanna use existing post. Okay, so when you click use existing post, it'll say select post. And now you're gonna see all of your previous ads in here so that you can just pick an ad that you wanna reuse. Okay, and I can tell you whoever set these up didn't set them up the way that I like to set them up. And I'll tell you right out of the gates, most people will say test a lot of ads. Well, the problem is, is if you test 10 ads, there's a very good chance that you're gonna have zero success. Because what that means is you're getting no social proof on any of the ads. What I like to do is just take, you know, I might test a couple, but a lot of times I just use what I think is gonna work best. And I run it as an engagement campaign, as I told you. And then after that, then I run it as a conversion campaign. And just to kind of show you how this works, what it's going to do is it's going to pull this ad. See, here's an example of an ad. Perfect example, I didn't set this up. But you see how this ad has no likes and no comments? Because it was the same creative created 10 different times and it never got any traction. So I really wanna just drive home this point. What you wanna do is you wanna have one, one ad creative, you're gonna use one post ID they call it. You see how it's called a Facebook post? And you're going to start by running that ad as an engagement campaign. And then after you've gotten a few likes and a little bit of traction, then you create a new campaign. That campaign, the second one is gonna be a conversion campaign because that's what you want is conversions. And when you come in here and you set up the ad, you're going to use an existing post and you're gonna use the same exact ad that you ran before, the same ad creative, but now instead of starting with zero likes, it's gonna start with 20, 30, 40 likes. So when people are scrolling down the page, they actually look at it and take it serious, and then what happens is they start to join in the conversation. They start liking it, they start commenting, they start sharing, and ultimately now for the first time, you're giving your ad an actual chance of succeeding, okay? One more time to recap, every ad you ever run, run it as an engagement campaign, then run that same exact ad as a conversion campaign, choose the, for, in this drop down right here, choose use existing post, use the same exact post, and that way, when the new ad campaign that you create gets a like, it gets added to the old ad. So you can run the same ad creative in a hundred different campaigns, and every time somebody likes it, it's gonna add, 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 add. And this is the way that we've literally had tens of thousands of likes on ads. And as you can imagine, the more social proof they get, the more successful they are. That is my number one secret for crushing it with Facebook ads. Nice going, champ, but we don't have to stop here. If you wanna really be ambitious, click on one of these videos, or if you wanna go the extra mile, hover over my head, click on subscribe, and then click the little bell. If you want some free goodies, go to swipemystuff.com, and I'll see you in the next training.